and this is how I made an Attack on Titan game for mobile, but not really. Let me explain. So in December last year, I released an update to my Attack on Titan fan game, and it's actually one of the final updates I'll be releasing. Now, if any of you played the older version of the Attack on Titan fan game for PC, you'll know that it looked vastly different to what it looks like now. In fact, it was on a completely different version of Unreal Engine. Now, I had zero intentions on attempting to port this to mobile, to begin with, the fact I even made an Android version of my old Attack on Titan fan game is a miracle. Now, I stopped working on that game for various reasons, but I was okay with that, and there's still a download available for that to play to this day. But one of the most requested things I get on every social media platform I'm on is to update mobile. So a couple weeks back, I had a brilliant idea of trying to port my fan game onto mobile, but I ran into some issues. I don't own the rights to Attack on Titan. And because of that, there is no legal way for me to get it onto the Play Store or the App Store. And that makes complete sense, I don't own the rights, completely fair. And a lot of you might just wonder, hey, why didn't you just release an APK file? And the truth is a lot of people just don't know how to download one properly. And another issue is that iPhone users obviously wouldn't be able to play at all. And I didn't think that was fair. So I wanted to try to do something else. And to do this, I took inspiration by someone you probably know called Danny. Now Danny made a Squid Game type game called Crab Game. And by not using any of the actual trademarks of Squid Game, he was able to put it on Steam. So I decided to do a similar thing and make what I'm calling an Attack on Titan parody game, inspired game, whatever. All I did was just take the functionality of my PC fan game, the latest update of it, and then cut out anything that is trademarked by Attack on Titan. You get the exact same gameplay on mobile, but you just can't swing around as Aaron Yeager, but hopefully you can forgive me as I don't want to get sued. And it also means that iPhone users get to play this game. Because I work on Mecha Attack full time, as that is my main official project, I only spent time on the weekend working on this. And then from there, I slowly incremented, kept updating, kept testing, and then I finally got to a build where I was happy with what I had made. Now, this is my first time ever actually publishing a game to any storefront even though it's for free at all but i sent it to google for approval and just today they approved it and i also recently just sent it to approval to apple which hopefully shouldn't be too far away either as soon as apple does approve it i will update the link in the description and i'll also update the pinned comment now, if you're watching this video when it just came out you'll try probably searching titan strike right away and discover you can't find it that's because google takes some time to add titan strike to the search system on google play so for now you can either search this text on screen you have to you have to match the text with capitalization as well or you can just simply go to the link in the description and download the game from there but if you're watching this video a week after it's uploaded i'm sure if you search titan strike it will show up and if it hasn't i would be slightly concerned the first issue is is you go to the play store and discover that your device is not compatible now i'm sorry to say there is probably nothing i'll ever be able to do about this your phone is quite simply not supported don't comment your ram that doesn't mean anything ram obviously is important but that isn't what decides if your phone can run a game or not what's actually important is what chipset your cpu is is it 32 bit is it 60 Bit. I also added an endless mode to the game and a forest map. In the endless mode, you can actually unlock that by using 3,500 coins that you earn from just playing the game, which doesn't actually take that long. Anyway, guys, be sure to leave a five-star review on the game with your ideas for what I should add next. And once again, guys, please be respectful. I'm going to be working on this project in my spare time, as once again, Mech Attack is obviously my main project, and I can't wait to give you guys some updates on that soon. Anyway, thanks for watching.